Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Sacramento County deputies have arrested a 26-year-old former tennis pro and coach for alleged sexual offenses with a child. He worked as a private coach to numerous children in the Sacramento area between 2019 and 2022. At least 37 people are now confirmed dead with hundreds still unaccounted for in flooding in eastern Kentucky. First responders have rescued more than 1,400 people. The rain has stopped, but now officials are warning about extreme heat in the coming days. Yolo County deputies pulled a stolen car from the Sacramento River near the Elkhorn boat ramp. The Marine Patrol deputies say it was not easy because of the location of the car and the debris buildup. State Attorney General Rob Bunta today announcing the launch of a nationwide anti-robocall litigation task force. The goal is to investigate and take legal action against telecommunications companies that bring a majority of foreign robocalls into the country. California farm workers will start a 24-day march to fight for more protections. It will start in Delano, where the last historic march for farm workers started back in 1994 and end at the state capitol. The Senate has given final approval to a bill enhancing health care and disability benefits for millions of veterans exposed to toxic burn pits while serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. President Biden is expected to sign the bill. The city of Stockton is looking for community input on what to do with the Victory Park swimming pool. After eight years, the pool is slated to be replaced and open for the public again. The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce announcing donations to 20 local businesses. The Economic Relief Small Business Grants totaled $50,000. Renta Center has agreed to pay more than $15 million to settle California's allegations that it misled and overcharged tens of thousands of customers. The company will return $13 million in the form of restitution, but did not admit to any violations. The number of people living without health insurance in the U.S. has fallen to an all-time low of 8% this year in large part because of the federal subsidies. Democrats have proposed spending $64 billion to extend those price breaks for three more years. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.